So a few days ago, Oscar De La Hoya was in a recent interview on The Breakfast Club, and he said some very interesting things regarding the business of boxing and professional boxers. And one of the things that he said was basically in a nutshell, in layman terms, that a lot of boxers concern themselves too much with the business aspect of the sport, opposed to allowing representation to handle the elements involved in the business side of the sport. He also talked about the reason why he was suing Ryan Garcia. And basically, it's because he wants, uh, when I say he, I mean Oscar De La Hoya, the promotion company in general, wants Ryan Garcia to honor his contract, to honor his, his, his contractual obligation to the promotion company. Apparently, he's not honoring it. I guess they have fights lined up for him that maybe he's not taking. Or... He's asking for too much money. Monies that's not included in the budget. And as Oscar De La Hoya puts it, it's just not there in the pot. Needless to say, that De La Hoya says that he and Bernard Hopkins are fair promoters and that they try the best that they can to educate the fighters that are under their stable. And I really have no issue with that. I think that's a good thing. But where it becomes a conflict of interest is that they are the promoters. And it's hard to really school a fighter to the ins and outs of the business on how promoters really generate their revenue. Basically, promoting the talents and skill sets of professional boxers. And this is why you all have heard me say time and time and time again. In fact, my boxing channel here on YouTube is predicated off of my own quote. Good representation in this business is priceless. Now, I do echo the sentiments of De La Hoya in this situation. With regards to boxers need representation in this business. That's a fact. There is no conflict of interest. When an independent representative represents the fighter and the best interest of the fighter when negotiating and communicating with promoters. But it is very difficult for a promoter to then educate the fighter on the ins and outs of the business because at some point the fighter is going to think that the promoter is getting over on them. Which may be accurate and it may be inaccurate. It depends on the contractual obligation, the language in the contract, etc., etc. We can't just normally assume that a promoter is getting over on a fighter because they're under contract. But we also must admit and acknowledge that the promoter will always and should always act in their own best interest on behalf of their company. And this is why I always say good representation in this business is priceless. Now, apparently, Ryan Garcia does have an advisor. How do we know that? Because De La Hoya made a tweet about it a few months back of how he's suing Ryan Garcia and how Ryan Garcia is being ill-advised and misrepresented by his advisor. Bottom line is this. 
is really hard to digest the fact that Ryan Garcia, just coming off of the biggest payday of his life, the biggest fight of his life, even the biggest loss of his career when fighting Tank Davis. Now he's in another fight, but only this time with his promotion company. That's really a hard pill to swallow. And we know that Ryan Garcia is now with Derrick James. So hopefully something good materializes with the relationship that he's developing with Derrick James and he resurges his career. And whatever he has to do to move forward with or without Golden Boy Promotions. Typically when a fighter is having disputes with their promotional company, in the words suing in court is spilled out to the public, usually the fighter and the promoter don't repatch the situation and move forward in an obligation. So we have yet to see and conclude what's going to happen in this case between Ryan Garcia and Golden Boy Promotions. I've already given Ryan Garcia some recommendations in a video that I published on this channel just a few months ago. When the same promoter who's suing him did not come and support him at the press conference after the fight. Really, it's called the post conference, but you all know what I'm talking about. And here we are. So we shall see what happens next. Because right now, we have to keep it all the way 100. Call it spade a spade and deal with what's real. Golden Boy Promotions do not have anyone else that can generate the revenue that Ryan Garcia can generate and with the following that someone of a Ryan Garcia's caliber has. So this might be a bad situation for both parties involved. We shall see. Tell me how you feel about this and what you're thinking and what your perspectives are in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback on this. I'm Manager Marty. Till next time. Oh, 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 I can't end a video like that. Hold on. I got to end it with my saying. Good representation in this business is priceless.